Hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> you know, it's weird. We were talking about this. I'm very happy wearing shirts with like my face logo on it, but my name, it just seems weird to me. Oh wait, I got to, speaking of shirts with your face or logo on it. Yeah. You were spotted by somebody going to, I think, Sam Burgers yeah. on the Vespa wearing a shirt with your face on it. And I'll put that picture up right now. That's on Yelp. So this is my point. My point is I'm okay with my face on my chest, but my name. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Sam. I don't know why, is this weird? Is no. it weird that it bugs me? I want it to be in black. Oh no, it's weird that it bugs you. The Sam isn't weird. <gasps> Wait. Sharpie. No. Why not? Come on. You're just gonna ruin it. No, I have to continue this. No, look, I think it'll be good. You're still gonna see it. A little bit of white is gonna come through. It's actually looking better. Yep. It's just a little subtle. Yeah, it doesn't just look messy now. Hi, I'm Sam. Before in the white, it was, hi, I'm Sam. Now it's, hi, I'm Sam. You see what I mean, boys? Yeah, what are you yeah. cooking today? Yeah, so you're gonna dig this. Um, it's very simple. We're taking that uh, most delicious of little steaks, the filet, wrapping it with bacon and cooking it. And that by itself will be great. But then while it's cooking, we're gonna make this tremendous, super simple little compound butter that will go on top of it when it's all done cooking. So then the heat of the steak will melt the butter and it will run down and that will bring big fat flavor. You good with that? Oh, sorry, you guys good with that? And by the way, the, uh, the sound you're hearing is some roofing or something going on over there. I said roofing. I know a lot of people say roofing. Chance, what do you say? I say roofing, I think. Max? Roofing. Max says it for sure, because he grew up having it said at the breakfast table as roofing. We did talk about roofing every morning. Vaz or vase? Vase. Vaz, what? Chance. Vase. Vase? Yes. Foyer or foyer? Foyer. Foyer. Can you get the vase, please, Sam? <laughs> Excuse me, Kelly, can you vase. please bring the vase into the dining room? We have steaks to cook, please. So a filet is a delicious cut, but you can see there's not a lot of fat. Super tender, hence the name, tenderloin, but not a lot of fat. So we're gonna give it fats by adding some bacon to it. Cool? Cool. Very cool. But first we have to season and we're gonna do this. Kosher salt and fresh ground pepper and we're gonna season liberally. Why, boys? They're fat steaks. Because they're fat steaks, exactly. Both sides. And the little extra fat that's on these, no big deal. And season the sides. You could just roll it in here. Gordon Ramsay, use the steak to roll it and mop up the seasoning that's on the cutting board, you fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now I have an idea. I want to do one more thing. Before we wrap it, Dijon mustard, little paintbrush. We're going to paint just the sides of it where the bacon will go. That'll help the bacon stick a little bit. We'll also use string, but, but I like this idea. I think it'll be good. You know, my mom taught me to make a roast beef. One of the only things that would go on the outside of it was yellow mustard. And it didn't taste like mustard in the end. It just brought more delicious flavor to it. So I'm looking at this thinking, there's no way that this could ever be a bad thing. Right, boys? Right. We know just to, say, to yell you guys, right whatever you're saying. <laughs> you guys are the best. Seriously. Okay. Now, the bacon. All right. So, I'm using some reasonably thick bacon. I don't want that super thin stuff. And I'm going to go like this. All the way around. If you can just leave like a little, just like a little ridge, that would be great. Okay. So, it's wrapped. Let me do this other one. Come on, buddy. There we go. Very nice. Very nice, all right? Next, we're gonna come in with some string. And we're gonna go around two times. And we'll just tie a little. Don't move on me, bud. And then you go like this. Then you bring it back a second time. And you go like that. There you go. Don't need to do anything but to cut, and it's good. All right, let's get this other one wrapped up. Uh, de. We tighten and we cut these off. Look at that. You know what we do next? We bring out our 
rack like this, you should have one of these things. I think we've got a link below and stuff you gotta buy. But what I like about this is it elevates the steak, the heat goes all the way around and underneath and cooks beautifully. We've talked about this before, we're gonna reverse sear them. They're gonna go into a preheated 275 degree oven. Wait, hold for the sound of freedom. And we know it's the sound of freedom because uh, commercial airlines don't uh, follow this route. This is just planes from uh, MCAS Miramar that's that way about 15 miles or something maybe. Yes, yeah, so 275 until it's 100 and uh, we'll say 130 to 132 inside, okay? It'll be medium rare, it'll be perfect. It will be, as I've said a thousand times here, perfect medium rare, top to bottom, side to side and end to end, which frankly, is the way you want it. So let me go put it inside. When I come back, we make some compound butter, bitches, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So that's in the oven. Again, 275, I don't know your oven. I know in my oven, it'll be about 45, 50 minutes for a steak that thick. Best thing to do, start checking it a half an hour, instant read thermometer, get it where you want it, pull it out, and then follow along from the rest of the stuff that we're gonna do. All right, next. Our compound butter recipe today comes courtesy of, oh, Sam the Cooking Guy, recipes with intentional leftovers. And in the book, if you had it or if you buy it, you'll see there's three compound butters. Look how gorgeous they are. Jalapeno, cilantro in the middle, and the herb garlic one on the uh, left, sorry, right, is that right? On our right, yes. Our right, yes. No, our right, not your right. Our right. No, my right. You're right, say you're right. You're right. There you go. You're wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're making this one, it's <laughs> delicious. And the beautiful thing about compound butters is once you make them, you just keep them in the fridge. And then when you wanna add huge flavor to something, you slice a little piece off, boom, in it goes. Anything, eggs, mushrooms, onions, on top of a steak, here's how you make it. All right, we're gonna start with eight tablespoons of butter. <laughs> There's like that. And you know what, I wish it was a little softer, but we're gonna be okay, I didn't take it out early enough. Now we need about three tablespoons of herbs. So in front of me, as you can see, we've got uh, parsley that we'll put in. We've got rosemary chopped up. We've got thyme. If you had, uh, oh, I don't know, cilantro, could you use it? Yes, anything you've got. Any little sage would be delicious, right? I mean, but who's got fresh sage around? Oh, uh, you can buy it, but. All right, next. Of course, some salt and pepper. Not too, too much. Some garlic, nice big ass clove. Oh, beautiful. And now the fun part, some lemon zest, and we're using a microplane zester. We've talked about this before. You just do this. And you get the highly fragrant, most flavorful part of the lemon, the zest on the outside. And we want about, oh, half a lemon's worth. When you've got that, scrape out this middle part, add it, and we can mix. Oh yeah, oh God, I'm gonna wish it. Stand by. Okay, I gave it about uh, 10, 15 seconds at, oh God, it's too much. Shit. At 60% power, I should have not. I will be okay. So get it all mixed. I mean, you don't want liquid butter here, folks. Oh, but you can smell the herbs, the garlic. Fantastic. And when it's mixed up the way you want, let's make it into a tube. And that looks like this. You know we've had trouble with uh, plastic wrap before and our friend Paula sent us this one and we like it because it has a cutter. So look what you do. You just spread it out and then you use this little slide thing here and you go zoop and it's perfect. Now you take your butter. You get your butter right there. Make sure you get it all because it's very valuable. Spread it out a little bit. And then the saran goes over the top like you're rolling a cigar or some sushi, right? Like this. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then twist the ends. And look what you've got. You've got this perfect little tube 
cigar shaped thing that now can go into your fridge for about an hour. I have less time, so I'm gonna put this in the freezer to get it uh, firm. And here they are. Got to admit, they're pretty, but they're not as pretty as they're gonna be. They're gonna get a little sear on top and bottom. They're gonna get this that just came out of my freezer. It's gonna be great. Should we get them happening? When you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. My cast iron pan is hot. By the way, there's a cast iron in our future, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'm gonna grease it a bit and I'm using my favorite beef tallow. We know this is just rendered beef fat. Oh, that you might as well. It's just gonna only intensify this beefy flavor. So let's get this. Obviously my grill is not completely flat. So we'll just do this. And now in we'll go. And remember, presentation side is this. We always go face down into the pan first with that. And we're gonna give this maybe a minute aside. That's about it. This is about color and crust and deliciousness. I say it all the time, if texture and color didn't matter, we just cook all our shit in a microwave. And we don't, for this reason. You smell the beef tallow, just doing amazing stuff in there. It's been like 30 seconds, you wanna see what it looks like? Yeah. Okay, that's stupid. Oh, the little edge we're getting on the bacon. All right, this side done, we'll give them a turn. Gorgeous. And this little crisping of the bacon around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, it's a very good thing. <laughs> you see, the bacon for me is at that spot where it's cooked, but it's still kind of fatty. And this is when you're gonna get that big, beautiful, bacony flavor. Crisp bacon, I think you lose the flavor of the bacon when you do that. It just tastes burnt to me. And when they're where you want them, out they come. So let's take these kids off. Oh, the juices on top are just perfecto. But, <laughs> All right, I've got my cast removing scissors here so we don't jack the whole thing up. So I'll take the strings out. <gasps> oh God, don't worry, I'm okay. I feel like those guys that uh, disarm bombs. I know, right? Red wire, blue wire. Hurt Locker? Yeah. Green, yeah. Wow, that was a great movie, huh? Hurt Locker, cooking guy style. <laughs> the stakes are really high this time. <laughs> the stakes! I got that. I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> All right. Oh. Damn. Okay, fellas, you know what's next? Our CPB, and that looks like this. So here's the easiest thing to do. Take your little four inch Sam the Cooking Guy paring knife. We want flat discs for this, so I'll cut a nice coin like this and like this. They call them coins in the food world. That kid's going to sit there. This kid's going to sit there. Beautiful. And I can see this guy starting to melt a little bit. Let's just wait for it. All right, so. Let's give these guys a little melty help by using our, our big boy torch. If we weren't shooting for a video, the second these came out of the cast iron pan, the butter would go on, I'd cover them up with foil, but because we take time to rearrange the cameras and stuff, it cooled down a little bit. So we're just helping it along. Man, oh man. Honestly, see this little pool, you know what that is? Oh, that's compound butter right there. So the butter, I mean, just do that. Just make it everywhere. And now the real test. This is always, this, I, this part, I always hold my breath because I want to just make sure that it's boom, perfect. And oh, what a surprise it is. And once again, it's not me. Well, it's me in the sense that I cooked it, but it's the reverse sear method that makes this perfect. 
I, that could not be any prettier. I swear to God. Yes. All right, so this calls for a bite. Let's just turn our little kid like this. And here's our bite. This. The color up here, it's a little melting butter. Look at that. It feels so soft. Oh my gosh, come on now. Garlic. Herbs. Melt in your mouth delicious. Well, look, that's a filet. That's the whole reason you buy a filet is because you want not a lot of fat, but super tender and delicious. We've added the, the, the mouthfeel of the fat by adding the bacon and then the compound butter. The only thing you need for excellence in this dish is what, Chance? Some butter? Max? I actually didn't hear the question. Is an instant read digital thermometer. We pulled these guys out at about 129, 130, maybe 131. If you wanted a little more, go a couple more degrees. But this reverse sear method in an instant read thermometer guarantees this perfection. This is a special meal for you and someone you love. It's impressive. It's very impressive. A little salad, some garlic bread recipes on the website. We've done it here before. What more do you need? You want a little side of pasta? Little uh, gnocchi? You could do that. It's simple. Look, I love to cook. I really do, and I hope it comes across. We're trying to get your mindset, you thinking the same way. Don't think about food like my mother-in-law, Patricia, does. For her, food is a necessity to keep you going. Sustenance. She, sustenance, thank you. She eats to live. We, boys, am I right? We live to eat. And that's what it should be. All right, tell them to subscribe. What? Told them to subscribe. They're already subscribers. All of you are subscribers, am I right? Uh-oh, I saw a few faces that were like, so, join the cool kids. That's, that's them, that's Max and Chance, that's not me. But become a subscriber. We want you to be part of the team. Be part of the team. Okay, that's it for me today. I could cry, I'm very emotional about all of this, especially this, and we are about to uh, pig out, I mean, enjoy these steaks that are right here. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you've liked this, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell us what you want to see, leave a comment. I got nothing else. Anybody, anything? There we go. I think I fixed this. It's much better now. See ya.